Frank, you know what's interesting? Had you listened to BlackRock or hedge fund Bridgewater in early 2021, you would have thought China was a place to invest. Alas, Chinese tech stocks hit by regulatory concerns, losing half of their value this year on track for their worst year since in history, really. There were, though, some bright spots overseas. Markets like Russia on track to end the year up 16 percent. India, the best performing emerging market, up 21 percent, fueled by a rebound in the economy. And that's why investor Mark Mobia says the key to investing in 2022 is get selective and stay away from broader emerging market ETFs. It's very, very important for investors to look carefully at each country and examine which ones are going to be locked down continuously and therefore have real problems like China. Uh, and then you look at India doing very, very well and Taiwan doing very well. So it's going to be a very, very interesting situation. And it's very important not to buy the index, not to buy the Emerging Markets Index, but to look at individual countries. Mobius sticking with India for 2022. Key events to watch there will be reforms by Prime Minister Modi in two state elections. Frank? Sima, we want to turn our attention to another part of your B. I want to ask you about the cruise lines, because this morning we heard the CDC is investigating 86 cruise ships which had COVID outbreaks on board. Yeah, Frank, here's the story. The CDC is monitoring over 80 ships after a small percentage of passengers tested positive across multiple lines, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian Cruise Line. Uh, stocks within the cruise lines are trading flat because so far this is different than what we saw back in 2020. Those who tested positive so far are asymptomatic to mild sy symptoms. The crew and nearly all passengers are fully vaccinated, so the sailings are continuing. What could emerge from this, though, is shortened sailings because certain ports in Mexico, the Caribbean, have denied access to certain ships. And with that, travel agents telling me we could see more cancellations. Uh, this news has invited pushback, though, from the likes of Senator Blumenthal. He says the cruise line should dock their ships, calling them petri dishes of COVID infection. If a few cases turn into an outbreak, experts say we could see a stronger response from health officials. Frank and Court. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.